Yes, guys, on this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to produce consistent characters using Mid Journey. I want to show you this step by step. So stay right to the end, guys. But guys, as usual, if you love digital products, you love producing digital products, creating, selling digital products, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Um, and don't forget to get, check out the videos in your feed. Guys, check this one out. Look, I'm on my um, on my uh, YouTube page. Look, and uh, just to let you guys know, after the vi this video, check out my other video, which is literally a step-by-step -step how to create a storybook or a children's book um, with the help of ChatGPT and Midjourney. So you can actually get the story, actually, the storyline for the children's book, um, as well as creating the images. Although this is an updated version on how to create actually the images and the characters. But do check out that video, this video uh, here, which I'll bring up on screen very quickly. Check out this video next, guys, because you will love it. It will go through step by step exactly how to produce um, video. There's there's a little thumbnail. Great, so at least fantastic you know which one looking uh, and reading. Anyways, what am I doing? Why am I playing guys. it? Look at Let's it. get back to what we need to get back to. So... Um, as usual, guys, I love using Midjourney. Midjourney is my go-to AI software, and I'm going to show you right now how to create consistent characters um, for your children's books. So, first thing to do is when you get onto the server for Midjourney, um, you need to make sure that you go to Midjourney version 5.2. Right, that is this one is really good, really good now this version because it actually it it makes sure that the characters are a bit more aligned. That means, you know, they're a bit more consistent. So let's just go with this now. Let's let's try this out. So this is what I do, right? This is the prompt that I'm gonna use. And this is the one that's gonna help you also make sure that you got that consistency. So as usual, we'll go to imagine and then the prompt begins. So I've actually copied the prompt because um, it just makes it a lot quicker, but I'm gonna go through it. So the prompt in this case, I'm going to I'm going to do like a, a young wizard um, similar to the thumbnail sort of just so you got an idea. I typed in young wizard, but this could be anything, guys. It could be I don't know, it could be a dog, um, could be um, a cat, could be an animal, could be anything, guys, um, anything that you can think of that you want the character to be basically for your for your children's book, um, baby elephant, whatever it is, anything. So that's what I'll put in first. The The other key is once you put comma in, then you need to make sure that you type in different angles because different angles is going to be actually the character in different angles, literally. And it's literal. And what I, what I like to add is I like to add something which is different expressions or different facial expressions. I just left it at different expressions because I know it works. And literally that is like it could be smiling, could be frowning, could be laughing, that kind of thing. Because obviously with your children's book, you want it to have like different expressions, not just like different angles and the same looking face. Because that would be a bit weird. And then um, I put comma and then I've typed him in the style of children, uh, of a children book character, right? Because I want it to be in that sort of style. And then I've uh, typed in character sheet because I want it on a sheet. And then I've typed in white background is important because look, with a white background, you want to be able to put the character on different maybe uh, settings, different, you know, different backgrounds that you want for the children's book. So I don't know, you might, you know, if it's a young wizard, it might be like, I don't know, a forest background or a castle background that you might create. So... I want to be able to have it on a white background so you'll be able to do that. And then after that is I've just done spacebar minus minus aspect ratio AR spacebar three by two. Okay. That way I've got the kind of angle, uh, the, the sort of um, sizing that I want, that I need, should I say. Uh, the aspect ratio that I, that I need for this because it, it does make a difference. And then what I'm going to do is a, a click enter. Right. So as usual, Midjourney is going to give me four variations of uh, young wizard in this case. Um, and then obviously, uh, you know, I'll choose the style that I like. OK, so what I, I, you can see right now is Midjourney is going through the process at the moment. It's going to give me four different versions of a young wizard character. OK, and those, so, so they should be slightly different. All of these characters. Um, and hopefully I should get 
different angles and hopefully I should get different expressions because that's what I, I would like. So it's coming along and you can see that, you know, they're, they're producing the character that I want in different styles, should I say. Um, 78% looking good so far. Interesting. So, you know, this is what Mid Journey does, guys. You know, Mid Journey does this and you have a few options that you can do once you once you see these are really nice aren't they let's, let's just open this up and let's just analyze these for a second guys right let me just go to open browser because then it's a bit bigger right so guys you can see that this is one set in the top left this is another set this is another set at the bottom and this is another set and what you can actually see is you know if we um if we use the well Look at uh, all of them, really. You can see that the, there are different angles for all the young wizards. I mean, look, the top left one has got different angles. Sometimes got he's got wearing a hat. Um, sometimes he's smiling, laughing. Sometimes he's kind of, you know, like this one is a bit of a different expression. This one is a different expression. So there are different expressions on these, which is good to see. You know, in the bottom left hand, uh, left hand corner, you can see again, different angles and different expressions so they've actually done what i've asked really which is good you know all of them really have have done that um they all look slightly different but you see look i mean and and it's, it's a really good example of what can happen and then what you can do is you can you know you, if you like one of them you might use one of them or you might do more versions of that one or you might just do regenerate so i'm going to just click regenerate so it's going to go back again and it's going to try and give me four more um young wizard um characters right so this is going to be another set of four just want to show you a couple of things first right so it's going to give me another set of four um which is interesting And again, look, I mean, look, I'll be honest with you, the quality on this is amazing. And, and it really is pretty cool because, you know, to be able to see all these different angles and expressions and, you know, just so quickly. So I'm going to, you know, look, look at this bottom left one. This is really cool. I like this bottom left one. This looks really good. Um, these are quite similar, these top two, very similar. But the bottom two are very different. That's what I'm saying. Like it just does it so differently. Um, so this is quite nice. Let's have a look. At, let's open this up for a second. Yep. So you got all the different four different angles. Okay. So look, well, I've done a few different examples. This just shows you that you can regenerate and so forth. I kind of, I'm gonna go with a set that I like. First of all, um, I kind of like the top left actually. I'm going to go with this one. Top left is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go with the top left, which is this one. I like these, very different. Uh, click this, open browser, and I'm going to save these, right? I want to save these. Uh, save image. Okay. That's my first step. Save that. Okay. Now, I mean, this is the next step that I'm going to do. So obviously, look, if I'm going to do a children's book, I'm going to have to do the background and so forth. So I'm going to use the same uh, same wording, right? I'm going to go prompt, right? I'm going to go paste. And I'm going to use, I'm not going to use young wizard. I'm not going to say different expressions or any of that. What I'm going to say, I'm going to delete all that. I'm going to just put wizard background, right? Wizard background. That's what I'm going to say because I want the background to be in that sort of wizard style, however it's going to be, that kind of dark castle, that kind of thing. So wizard background, the style of a children of children book character uh, in the style of a children book, right? That's all I need, actually. I don't need any of the rest of it. That's all I'm going to have. Look. Wizard background style of children book. So the idea is that whatever character you're using, obviously, remember, you know, whatever story it is that you're doing, whatever children's book 
you want the background to match the character okay um so they're almost like separate entities you've got a character then you've got the background so now hopefully um i should get a few different examples um of a sort of wizard style background i can see already that these bottom two have um characters which i don't want so i might just regenerate again or if i see something that works i might use it actually that top left one looks quite interesting see the bottom two are not going to work for me because they already got a character i've already got my character which i want to put onto these are really nice aren't they look at these guys wow cool that's really cool i mean maybe i mean i might regenerate but i mean that top left one could be something i might use if it's not i mean they look amazing i must say but um let's say i regenerate let's just see if uh, i can get another an uh, example that i can use because obviously i've got my characters in my mind what i want to use uh no, what's that oh there it is i've got the characters in my mind how i want to use it so let's just kind of stick to that idea first let's see hopefully that i get something that i like like i said go back and regenerate if you're not happy with what you see go back and just kind of redo them again not quite what i want still right so i want to go back to this one because this one's the closest to how i want it because this one has no character so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to version 2 a few versions of a few different um versions of two if you like variety see these these have got the wizards i don't want that that to be there so hopefully there you go hopefully i'm gonna have four different versions now this looks better this looks better Now, guys, what's really amazing about the you know children's books is that you know um, it's become more and more popular, as in it's to sell something like this. So, creating, remember, do check out my um, book, my um, video on creating a children's book from from scratch, really, and how to get an idea of how to create the storyline through Chat GPT. See, these are quite nice. These are quite nice. They're very much in the distance, but they, they're quite nice. Where's it gone? Oh, there. So, all right, let's have a look at this for a second. Let's have a look at these. These are really cool, aren't they? Look at these. Love the sky. That sky is amazing. Um, yeah, I can use one of these. Right, so I'm going to use one of these. I want to use, I want to upscale the bottom right hand, uh, left hand corner. So, upscale free. I can use that, right? Look at it. Look what I'm going to do, guys. Look at this. It's going to be amazing. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use browser. And I'm going to save this, right? Save image as. It's going to be cool. All right? Save that. Now, check this out, guys. Check this out. Check this out, right? Check this out. Um. I'm just going to get a page. I just want to show you like the principle of how it's going to work. Really, that's what I want to do. Right. Let's say I go to Canva and, you know, on Canva, I could do my whole like everything. Get the text on there, get the images on there and really get my pages ready so that I can get it all printed unless I sell it as a digital download. But guys, this is how you build it up. When you actually do a, um, a background, you actually do it like layers. So you have a background, then you have the characters on top, and then you have the writing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the, and like I said, check out my other video after this one. Uh, I'm going to go to uploads. I want to upload uh, a, couple of a couple of files, right? And I'm going to do this one by one. Look at this, guys. Check this out. So I'm going to put the background first. There it is. Let me just get that background there and get a background like this so look you've got your image and you know look if you need to although it's quite small you can upscale it using ai upscaler check out my videos on how to do this if you do need to but children's book are quite small um so it should be quite you know fine in terms of the the detail on this 
because uh, it's quite a small thing item so you've got the the background and then what you do is you bring in i mean i would tend to do these separately but let's say in this case i'm just gonna use um let's see let's see let's see let's see okay i'm going to use this character because this character works with the background so i'm going to just uh do this crop crop and then crop so i can keep that character okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to edit photo and then i'm going to remove the background I see what happens there yeah not bad but i need to delete a little bit rub out a little bit uh of the shoe which i can see for one of the characters there okay go back okay it's gone cool so i've got the character there look at the character actually i've got a little bit more that i need to delete in the top left hand corner which is i think there go back there you go all right let's just go down a bit all right so can you see how it works can you see like even the style that it's done it matches quite well yeah Looks actually pretty good, doesn't it? I really like that. I think that looks amazing. Let me just get rid of that. There you go. That looks amazing, guys. Yeah? So this is my wizard, young wizard, in with the background, walking down the pathway. Right? So that's how you do it, guys. Remember, like I said, now, look, this is the amazing thing about children's books. And, and look... You know, you could actually, making money with children's books is, um, like I said, and you, in this case, with this page, you probably put the writing somewhere as well, right? However you want to do it. But what's amazing about this is if I go to something called Fiverr, right? Check out Fiverr, guys. So Fiverr is amazing. You know, people sell their services writing children's storybook illustrations, which is amazing. Um, and they also, not only that, but the service for different characters at different angles is also big as well guys look check this out this person sells uh characters with different um consistent characters different angles like this like the one that you see right which is pretty cool um look they've got five orders in a queue they're basic just two figures it's for 44 pounds that they they sell um, three figures is £69.50 and if you're going to do four figures that's 102 right with different angles and guys check this out I mean this is what they do to sell this kind of service to make make that money I mean look we've just produced I mean I just showed you just now guys like how you can produce characters really quick I mean we just produced like how many did we produce like these are four different examples of wizards and we did that like in a few minutes so actually you know using mid journey you can actually use this to actually sell a service of doing creating consistent characters on something like fiverr and there's other also other websites that you can sell this on it could be something like upwork or people per hour so there's loads of these you know services that people create design characters and sell these on the platforms like fiverr so guys just another way not only can you sell your book as in like create a uh, storybook uh, children's storybook but you could actually just sell characters that you create and also make that passive income so guys well passive in terms of your you're creating it really so it's a uh, it's another way of making some good actual good income guys remember what i said um you need to check out this video guys next which is uh, the children's book um that i go through step by step how to create the actual story and so forth so do check it out uh see it on my on my page and guys as usual if you like this video please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell don't forget check out the video check out my playlist check out the links in my description for everything that i do use and uh, guys, I shall see you on the next one. Take care.